now for a remarkable story that turned out to be such a divine coincidence, but it can only be described, as you know, as a Godwink. Our dear friend Squire Rushnell is the best-selling author behind the Godwinks book series, and he's here to share another incredible true story. This... Hey, Squire. Hi, oh, Squire. yes. Well, this is the story of Tricia Seaman, who is a nurse in Pennsylvania that was told by the doctors that due to pregnancy complications, she couldn't have a fifth child. She was very disappointed. But, because they had wanted to have a very large family. Right. But they had no way of knowing that that was just the beginning of a whole string of uplifting Godwinks. Dan and I were sad and strangely unsettled about not being able to conceive again. I so wanted another son. We decided to adopt and commence the demanding certification process. We waited and waited. The agency finally sent a profile picture of a darling 18-month-old boy. My heart flipped, thinking this was it. We sent the paperwork and waited again as days turned into weeks, with never a peep from the agency. A while later at the hospital, I was assigned to a patient named Trisha. We both had the same name. I joked about the Godwink, even the same initials, T.S. Trish and I had an immediate bond. She poured out her fears and emotions as she told me about her eight-year-old son, Wesley, who was her entire world. She was a single mom, no parents or close relatives, and she'd been diagnosed with cancer. While I was never reassigned to Trish during her 10 days at the hospital, I would often pop in to see how she was doing. On the day of her discharge, I stopped to give her a hug. I saw by the look on her face that she had been given terrible news. She said, the cancer has spread. I only have a short time to live. Then the most astonishing words came from her lips. Will you and your husband raise my child? Her request was immense for her and for us. It took my breath away. I said I was honored, but urged her to think and pray about it. A few days later, we invited Trish and Wesley to come to our home and meet our kids. Our children embraced Wesley right away, and this time when Trish asked if we would raise her child, we said yes. But she was deteriorating rapidly. My dear husband said we couldn't let her go to a nursing home. She needed to stay with us. So for the next five months, Wesley assimilated into our family, and Trish enjoyed what she said was the best five months of her life. As I think back, I'll always remember the wonderful Godwinks that fulfilled the needs of two mothers. Trish needed a mother for her son. I longed for one more son to feel settled. Trish taught me that family is often more than blood relatives, but also those whom you are divinely aligned to meet. We miss her, but every holiday, Trish has a special place in our hearts. Oh, wow. That was Wesley awesome. is now 10 years old. Oh. It's such a wonderful story. Trisha has written a story about Trish honor her, honoring her in a book called God Gave Me You. And what this shows us is that God winks are in every one of our lives to bring us hope and encouragement. Oh, that's that was beautiful. Most beautiful yeah. story. Oh, thank beautiful you. Beautiful, Squire. Thank you. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.